to be alive in the age of terrorism, to be alive in America. No shoes, no liquids. Place that knot in your stomach on the conveyor belt. Do not question, girl. Your body will be photographed. Your body searched. Check Facebook for the news. Do not say their names out loud. The dead are too much to carry. There is not enough time left on your tongue. Drink your fear for breakfast, but don't worry. It tastes just like artificial colors, blue two, red 40, yellow six. Your stomach has been trained to keep it down. Your stomach is a minefield. Your stomach has been genetically modified. You understand if the cancer does not get you, the guns will. You question what you can, but how many hours are in a day? What do we call terrorism when it's white? What sound do you make when the government commits a war crime in your name? When that plane is shot down, it will feel like a distraction. You pray quickly to your God. You thank him for keeping you alive just another day longer. You still pray to die in your sleep. Like your grandfather's yellow eyes, hungry with disease in his liver, silly girl. Still believes what she's been told she can have, a headline sewn into her mouth. We are a first world country. This is not Syria or Iraq. Our barbaric simply looks different here. My brother calls, his voice a lost dog. He just heard a young man he went to college with was shot in the back at the bus stop, just waiting for the bus. What does freedom look like? Does it always look like hate? Can we be held responsible for our actions if violence is just our second language? Swallow the internet. There will be no repercussions for what you vomit out. You are simply a voice on the other end of the world. You can only hold each tragedy for a few days before another explosion, another child shooting themselves in the face, another reason to flinch in crowded public places. We are told you are lucky to be born here. Lucky would have been being born in a country with free health care, whose educational scores are in the top 30 where debt is not your first name. Is it lucky to not be born in Palestine, but instead be born to the country supplying the weapons, murdering them? How do you deny where you come from? I am inherently American. I know how it smells here. There is no way to turn off the familiar. My grandparents escaped to live here. But is this the dream they dreamed? My greatest fear in the greatest country in the world is being shot. How do you cause change if you are kept in a constant state of fear? How do you escape? Don't you know your place, girl? Don't you know your own name? Thank you.